The film opens with a group of strangers arriving on the remote and exotic fantasy island, each having been invited to experience their ultimate fantasy. The group is greeted by the island's enigmatic host, Mr. Rourke, who welcomes them warmly and explains that their fantasies will come true, but only if they follow the rules. The guests are visibly excited and curious, though they are unsure of how their fantasies will play out. They include, Gwen Olson, a woman with deep personal regrets. Melanie Cole, who seeks revenge on a childhood bully. Patrick Sullivan, a man with military aspirations and unresolved family issues. Brothers J.D. and Brax Weaver, who just want to party and live a luxurious lifestyle. Mr. Rourke explains that each guest will have their own unique fantasy come to life, tailored specifically to their desires. But they must see the fantasy through to its natural conclusion. He warns them that every fantasy has its consequences, although the guests are too excited to take the warning seriously. The island itself is portrayed as beautiful and tranquil, but the presence of the staff and Mr. Rourke suggests that the island may have hidden, supernatural powers. The idea that this isn't an ordinary vacation destination is subtly introduced through the unnerving atmosphere and cryptic comments from Mr. Rourke. The guests are taken to their separate locations where their fantasies will unfold. Gwen is the first to experience her fantasy. She enters a luxurious, dreamlike setting where she is confronted with a choice, the chance to undo a terrible mistake from her past that has haunted her for years. Gwen's fantasy is deeply personal and emotional. She is taken back in time to the moment when she made the decision that altered her life, and she is given the opportunity to make a different choice. The scene shows the island's power to not only grant wishes but manipulate reality itself. Meanwhile, Melanie's fantasy begins in a high-tech room where she is told that she can exact revenge on a former childhood bully, Sloane Madison. Initially, she thinks it's a simulation, but as she begins to enact her revenge, things start to feel unsettlingly real. As Melanie watches her childhood tormentor being tortured, she starts to question whether the island's power goes beyond mere fantasy, hinting at the darker, more sinister aspects of what's happening. Brothers JD and Brax are taken to a lavish mansion where they are given everything they ever wanted. Money, parties, luxury, and women. Their fantasy seems straightforward, pure hedonistic pleasure, but there are subtle hints that their dream life might come at a cost. Despite the thrill of living out their wildest fantasies, there are moments where the brothers seem uncomfortable or out of place, as though something is slightly off. This foreshadows the more twisted events that are to come. Patrick, a police officer with a desire to serve in the military, is thrust into a fantasy where he gets to be a soldier in an active war zone. However, this fantasy also appears to have more layers than initially expected. As Patrick enters the battlefield, he comes face to face with someone from his past, revealing that his fantasy might be tied to unresolved issues rather than just a desire for adventure. Gwen's fantasy deepens as she experiences a redo of the moment she regrets most in her life. Turning down a marriage proposal and making a decision that led to her current dissatisfaction. In her fantasy, she accepts the proposal and finds herself living a seemingly perfect life with her former lover. However, despite the apparent happiness, Gwen begins to feel uneasy. She starts to realize that changing the past does not erase the emotional consequences or the pain associated with her choices. This forces her to confront the guilt and regret that she's been harboring for years. Gwen realizes that her fantasy, while seemingly fulfilling, doesn't resolve her deeper emotional issues. The island manipulates her memory and experiences, making her question the authenticity of what she's living. Patrick's military fantasy takes a dramatic and personal turn when he encounters his late father, who was a soldier unalived in action. Patrick's father doesn't recognize him. Since the fantasy recreates events from the past, placing Patrick alongside his father in a combat scenario. Patrick is forced to confront his unresolved guilt and feelings of inadequacy regarding his father's death. He idolized his father and has always felt that he could never live up to his legacy, and now, the island is forcing him to confront these deeply buried emotions. What begins as an adventure fantasy for Patrick, allowing him to serve alongside his father, quickly becomes emotionally overwhelming as he struggles with the psychological weight of reliving the past. Elsewhere, Brothers Brax and JD continue to indulge in their extravagant fantasy of wealth and luxury. They enjoy partying, drinking, and socializing in a massive mansion. However, their fantasy begins to unravel when they are attacked by a group of armed mercenaries. The brothers realize that their fantasy is not just about living in luxury, it's also about the dangerous lifestyle that comes with it. As the mercenaries close in, the situation becomes increasingly life-threatening, and Brax and JD's carefree dream becomes a desperate fight for survival. The island has twisted their fantasy by introducing real-world dangers that mirror the risks associated with living a flashy, excessive lifestyle. They now have to face the consequences of their wishes in a more violent and chaotic way. Meanwhile, Melanie frees Sloane from the torture chamber and apologizes for her actions. 
The two women form an uneasy alliance, understanding that the island is warping their fantasies into dangerous realities. Together, they decide to figure out what's really going on and how to escape the island. They begin investigating the deeper secrets of the island, suspicious of Mr. Rourke's true intentions. Patrick continues to experience his fantasy of serving alongside his deceased father in a combat scenario. However, the emotional toll of reliving his father's final moments becomes too much to bear. Patrick struggles with feelings of guilt, regret, and a deep longing for closure with his father. He eventually reveals the truth to his father, that he's his son, from the future. This leads to a powerful emotional confrontation, where Patrick's father helps him come to terms with his unresolved trauma, but Patrick begins to realize that this fantasy might not end the way he hoped. Gwen continues to live in the fantasy where she made a different choice in life, accepting a marriage proposal and living an idealized life with her former lover. She has the chance to live in a perfect world without the regrets that have haunted her for years. Meanwhile, Melanie uncovers a key piece of information. The island has a sinister power, and it feeds off the guests' darkest fears and regrets. This explains why their fantasies are becoming nightmares. The island isn't simply fulfilling wishes, it's manipulating their deepest desires in dangerous ways, forcing them to confront their unresolved trauma. Mr. Rourke is revealed to have his own tragic backstory, which ties him to the island's supernatural powers. He's not entirely in control of the island, and he is also bound to fulfill its rules. Rourke's own motivations are more complex, as he's revealed to be stuck in his own fantasy, trying to reunite with his deceased wife. Melanie, Sloane, as well as the man they just met named Damon, begin to formulate a plan to escape the island after realizing that their fantasies will not end well. They know they need to confront Mr. Rourke and stop the island's power before it consumes them all. The group discovers that the island's core is controlled by a mystical source, which allows it to manipulate time, space, and reality. If they can destroy this source, they believe they can end the island's control over them. As they confront Mr. Rourke, he reveals that the island's power is not something that can be easily shut down, and any attempt to do so will have serious consequences for them all. In a shocking twist, it is revealed that Melanie is not just a victim of the island's fantasies. She orchestrated the entire situation and manipulated the other guests into participating in their deadly fantasies. Melanie's true fantasy is revenge against all the other guests, whom she blames for the death of Nick Taylor, a man she had a crush on who died in a fire years ago. All of the guests on the island were, in some way, indirectly connected to Nick's death, and Melanie's plan was to make them suffer for their roles in his demise. Sloan, in particular, is Melanie's primary target because of her role in humiliating Nick, which led him to be in the situation that caused his death. Melanie's manipulation of the island's powers turns everyone's fantasy into a nightmare, as she seeks to punish them for their involvement. The group discovers that the island's power is controlled by a mystical black liquid that flows from a hidden spring in the island's heart. This liquid is what allows the island to create and control the fantasies. They realize that destroying the spring could sever the island's connection to its powers, ending the nightmares and saving them from Melanie's revenge fantasy. However, doing so could have unpredictable consequences, including the potential death of everyone on the island. As they head toward the spring, the group is ambushed by Melanie, who has become consumed by her desire for vengeance. She reveals the full extent of her plan to make them all suffer, relishing the fear and pain she has caused. In a climactic battle, the group fights against Melanie and the island's supernatural manifestations, including dark versions of themselves and the reanimated figure of Nick, who Melanie has summoned as part of her fantasy. Gwen manages to get close to the spring and destroy the source of the island's power by dropping a grenade into it. The explosion disrupts the island's magical control, and the fantasies begin to unravel. With the spring destroyed, the island begins to lose its supernatural grip. The nightmares cease, and the guests begin to experience reality once again. Mr. Rourke loses his connection to his wife, who disappears, leaving him heartbroken. However, Rourke accepts that the island's power had to be stopped, even at the cost of his personal fantasy. After the chaos, the survivors are picked up by a rescue plane. However, Brax chooses to stay on the island. Earlier, the island had offered him a chance to resurrect his brother JD, who had died during the mercenary attack, if Brax agreed to remain on the island. Feeling guilty for his brother's death, Brax accepts the offer, and he stays behind to fulfill his new role as Mr. Rourke's assistant. Make sure to like, and subscribe for more notifications. Until next time, see you soon.